Aloha and thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I want to show you my pre-checklist checklist. checklist. Uh, that's kind of my little terminology for what it takes to fire up this whole home sim I have here. And it's a wee bit of a monstrosity. If you if you watched my, uh, my videos, you'll see that there's a lot to it. Up here in this area, you'll see a lot of the software that I need when I first fire up. Um, and some of this you can do out of order. Some of it has to be done kind of in order. Now, the first thing I normally tend to do is launch prop wash. And if you can kind of see here, because I have the prop wash panels already plugged in, they immediately come up and they're pre-configured. Um, now, the dual radio can actually be configured via this drop down. You have options on what each channel on that radio can be. But I leave them as COM2 and NAV2. And uh, there you go. Minimize that guy. Now, say intentions also needs to be run, but I'll run that in a minute. Uh, so let's go to Moby Flight. Now I can run Moby Flight now. I can run it in like five minutes from now. It wouldn't really matter. But I do have to fire it up. Here you can see all my stuff. And then I just click run. And you heard everything kick in there. Then you heard a little badoom from Windows. It's telling me that my Moby Flight's good. The next guy to run is SPAD next. And I'll bring it over to this window so you can see it better. Uh, no. So SPAD next is payware, but it is well worth it. Um, and it runs on my, my two uh, Logitech FIP gauges. And on these, I am running the G5 software, which again, you pay like 25 bucks, but you can run it on each one. So you pay 25 one time, I think it is. Uh, and that's up and running. Uh, now, the other thing I do, this is Flight Plan Go. When I bring up Microsoft Flight Simulator, I will have to connect at that time. Uh, I don't have to really connect it right now. And I can connect it to any tablet that's in the sim. And here, when I go, I'm covering this up just because I had to type in the password. But there's Flight Plan Go is down here. So the next thing I'm going to set up is Air Manager. And we're going to skip that update. And now it'll launch behind me. And I'll drag it over so you can see it. Uh, this is a cockpit I configured to match my gauges. So here's what you see in my cockpit. And once I turn it on, it's now showing up behind the custom facade that I built. So thus far, I've got my gauges up and running. I've got my radios up and running. I've got my controls up and running. Flight Plan Go is ready to go when I want to launch it. So one of the last things I got to do is my uh, GNS 530, but I also have to get Say Intentions going. So this is the Say Intentions update. This is their the latest version of the software. And yes, I want to run it. And there it is. And there I am, November 701, Lady Juliet. And we will then launch Flight Sim Builder's app. Now, Flight Sim Builder's app is the last thing I really launch because it will actually launch um, Microsoft Flight Simulator for me as it enables all the controls on the GNS 530. So, we just launched it. It's going to come up there. And then you saw the background. This is my, minimize this here. And there's Flight Simulator coming up. And here's Royal Rover is surrounded by Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now you hear the music kicking in. I can't hit connect yet because 
Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't sending out the fake nav data yet over the Wi-Fi, so can't really do much with it. And of course, with all good things, comes a software update. Alright, so software update's gone. Yay. And FSU IPC launches on its own in the background. A little badoink was SPAD next is now connected to the flight simulator. Yep. Slowly but surely we're coming up. <clears throat> now SPAD next detected my aircraft change. <coughs> Just do an alt enter so screens line up a little better and then lastly let's alt tab now to get my navigation stuff connected from here i can now external as plane i am now connected to the flight simulator with my tablet and I can even connect on this one as well. So now I'm connected all the way around. I could also open, uh, I could bring up the uh, say intentions AI if I really wanted to. But that's about it. That's, that's my pre-checklist checklist. That's how I go through and uh, set up for every flight. Um, some of the other things I do uh, are just the typical um, flight planning things. Uh, and I tend to do that on either the tablet or just in Microsoft itself. Um, but yeah, that's everything it takes to get this guy up and running. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, let me know. Uh, questions on the software I'm running, questions on why I'm bringing it up in the order I'm bringing it up in, uh, just ask away. Thanks, and as always, stay safe and happy flying out there.